When you first start blowing glass, it is this really intense activity, and then you do it some more, and then you do it some more, and then you do it some more, and then it just becomes sort of this second nature thing. It can't look machined, it can't look over-tooled, so you have to be really fluid. So you do get to a point where everything does become meditative because you're so relaxed and so calm, and that's kind of when you're making your best work. For me, especially in the beginning, you know, I was this like very energetic kid that like couldn't pay attention to everything or anything. And glass had all of this stuff going on. In making this one object, there were so many forces at play. There was heat, gravity, um, just how much someone was blowing, how much you have to turn. There were so many things to catch your focus that it was the first time I was able to at least shut the rest of the world off and focus on this one thing. So one thing that I'm really interested in is the chemistry of glass. And I spent six months in New Zealand um, working for a friend whose dad was very involved in this glass color company. While I was there, I started doing a lot of experiments with rare earths and how they'll actually change frequencies of light or wavelengths of light as they go through the glass. I've been playing with a combination of these rare earths to make glasses that will shift from, let's say, a blue in daylight to a purple in fluorescent. And then rather than just sticking with one element, you can add multiples so that some wavelengths are actually absorbed. And then you're left with this crazy spectrum. You know, you're creating these colors that don't really have a place yet. Penland's one of the only schools in the country that has a color program with a special furnace dedicated to that kind of mixing and melting. Without Penland, I probably wouldn't be making the work that I make. I value the handmade a whole lot. Where glass art started, it was all about these decorative larger pieces that people would sort of covet as a work of art. And what I value is just trying to make a really nice, well-made, well-designed object for daily use.